Hello everybody, this is Aiden and Dad, and... This is another Get In Life Q&A. Yahoo! Right, Dad, remember a while back we did a World of Tanks video where one of us got shot by a teammate, and you did an instant replay thing where the video rewound with a uh, cassette tape going backwards sound? How do you do the rewinding video thing? Because I cannot find that setting. To um, demonstrate this, let's first load a clip. And I must say, I've had uh, issues with doing a reverse when I first tried it. I couldn't find where to do it, or maybe it wasn't in the version of Game Life that I used at the time. But uh, I have since found how to do that, and I'll show you guys how to do a, a replay where we play a little bit of video and stop it, rewind it and play it again and you can choose to slow it down after that. You'll see right here a reverse clip. It creates a new clip with a .mlt there. Now this one is an exact copy of that, that one but it's reversed. Unfortunately you cannot reverse a clip that's loaded in your timeline here or I don't know of a way how to at this point. So first let's drag this one down here and somewhere here near the end I've got a interesting but let's zoom out a little bit so we see the whole thing. Actually a little further back where was it? Now oh, it's back here. Let's say around there. Let's start there. And I'll just use the zone start marker there. Let's zoom a little in. So I just want a short little bit here where the zombie falls off here. Kills it and we grab that. Let's say there. So this bit here. Zoom out to get the end so I can crop it. And send there. Zoom in. So let's see. Starting where I see Aiden down there. The other zombie coming down. Jump down here, and that's it. You'd expect to select the clip here in your timeline, add effect, and find reverse video under here, or I would anyways. But that's not the case. The only place you can do it, as I showed you, you're gonna go there, right click, clip jobs, reverse clip, and that gives you this one here. An exact copy of the other one, of that one, but it's reversed. So we can put that here and let's see if we can find that spot. I need to zoom out a little bit more. On that side. There's that. Somewhere right there. I'm just uh, cropping now from the end. Just want to see where I see Aiden down there. There's Aiden. I'm going to zoom in again. There is the zombie. And you go find that same spot roughly there. And let's go grab. Oops, that's too far. Get the end, put it in. And zoom in again. Let me see if this is roughly the same length. Yeah, that's good enough. This is going to be sped up as well. Um, and on that point, you, you cannot apply the speed up the motion effect here. I mean, it does apply, but it doesn't work. So what we unfortunately gonna have to do is 
I just want to go to the end there, put the zone there, find the beginning here, start zone, and I want to render it out. And that's unfortunately the additional step you have to do here. And you can just choose a high quality thing. The sound's not important because it's going to lose its sound anyways. Let's put it in a proper spot. So I'll put it here under Ken Live Demo. And that's that's a good name. That's one that I played with before. So reverse of the final stand video. And we'll select it, force progressive, select that sound, let's render the file. Let's overwrite that. And this is quick since it's a very short clip. And we are done. And let's bring that rendered one in here. So it's this guy. So we're going to use this one instead of this one now. So for this purpose, let's leave this one here. I'm just going to put this one on that side so we can work there and then I'm bringing this one in and again the only reason why I'm rendering this first is so I can do a speed effect on it as well motion speed because I want to speed it up I want to reverse it but I want to speed it up by like um, two and a half times right and we'll have to see what works out for us so this is going to play normal speed and then I want to do a, a vinyl scratch noise here. So let's go find some good sound effects for this. I used it here in World of Tanks. So the other type rewind sound there and the scratch. So those two I want to load. So first let's do the scratchy noise, so this one, let's just see how long it is, again I'm going to zoom in a little bit, and we can, let's see if we make, if we do a second up here, let's just find that good there, and I'm going to move all this a little up. I just want to line this up with a second roughly and that one and then so I want to do a second of where this video freezes on this last frame now let's demonstrate how we do that let me so on that frame there let's do a, a motion freeze and freeze after this point so it's important that your timeline is there where you want to insert this point. So freeze, freeze after. And now what I'm doing is I'm just dragging this out to there. So if you play this, you'll see it stops at that point. And for the duration, for that one second duration, it freezes the, this frame that you chose. And then it's going to do the reverse thing. But it's going to speed that up, which we're going to do next. And then, it's, then we want this to play again. So let's let's uh, put this here in the second spot. This, so for this duration, we wanted to create a scratchy sound, and, and then we got a two and a half time sped up reversed clip. And during that time, we want to play this tape rewind now I don't know if you guys know what a videotape is if you're young you probably won't know because this is old school stuff let me yeah I think I, I want to make this a little longer so I don't like this but here 
but I like this this part here. Okay, let's make that a little bit longer. So I wanna make this a little bit shorter. Let, let's say 245 maybe. No, 240. Still not. 30. 25. That's about right. I'm just putting a fade out, a short fade out here, as you can see, it's barely two frames in that spot. And here, I also want to do a volume, because I want it to be totally quiet for the second here. So let's do an audio correction. I'm going to add two keyframes, and this one at the end. These two need to be totally quiet, right? So let's see where this one is. This one needs to move right to there. And that one needs to move yeah, somewhere there. That's fine. So now the background noise will play, but here it will be quiet. We'll hear the, hear the scratchy noise. Reverse video will play, sped up and the re rewind sound and then we want this clip again so we're just going to copy it and first we want to take off that additional second that we added to the end here i'm just going to use the timeline here to do that so let me zoom in on that a little bit so i get frames uh, one more frame here. That one. And let's use that same line to add a second to the front of it. Let's see if that's right. It looks almost right. Maybe an extra frame there. No, we could. And I'm just going to take all and change that. I'm going to make this before now. Freeze before and I'm going to bring this down to a second. So I'm going to freeze for the first second. Let's see if that does it. Yep, see it frozen there in the beginning and then it starts. And it's just so to buffer this reverse video here. Frozen part in the front and freeze it again after that and then replay it. We're gonna, in this case, we're just gonna replay it normal speed, but you could uh, obviously slow this down for a more traditional replay effect. Uh, the one thing I wanted to add here is the voice, uh, the, the sound. I want to muted for that first second as well because it's a little weird that they sound playing in the beginning uh, during this frozen part so let me bring that one back to about there doesn't have to be perfect again just somewhat I get it Let's put that back there. Let's see, there's the frozen part, and it starts playing, and that's it. So here's our whole clip. Let's um, zoom it. And render it. Let's call this what playback replay replay is a better replay and now everything is important that's fine progressive render to file it should be quick okay 
Okay, we're done. Let's see how it plays out. That's it guys, that's how you do a replay with uh, the reverse effect. So on that video, Dad taught us how to reverse the video and create a replay using it. Okay guys, I'll put a link here in the video uh, that shows an example of where we did this. Thanks for watching. If you liked this video, don't forget to like, favorite and subscribe. Bye! Bye.